Hello everyone, Will here from Mature Minded Gamers, and today I'm going to be bringing you an unboxing video for Wright Busters from Mythic Games. This one is a one to four player game, plays in around an hour and a half to two hours. Would you look at that art? Absolutely killer looking. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this box, take a look at everything that they have inside for us. Already taking the cellophane off. That art is just killer. Absolutely love it. Very excited. All right, let's take a look here. First up, looks like we have a mission book. Don't want to spoil too much into this, but you have one, two, three, four, five. Some raid set up. Six missions inside here. Different layouts, pretty awesome. Very good art, but our book with the art inside the book as well. Not a lot of words. I like that kind of aesthetic that they have. Looking cool. All right. Next up, we have a rule book. Awesome. A lot of examples. Doesn't seem actually that bad. Let's kind of dive into it. Oh, I like that. Iconography right on the back. That's going to be very helpful. We have, first up here, we have some decent dice. Quite a few of them, actually. Got a little bit of weight to them. Get your noise dice, your defense dice. Your attack dice. Chunky dice. Okay. We'll get into these in a second here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Got quite a few cards. Quite a few of them. Four stacks of cards. Quite a bit. Right. Down and deep inside in this box, we have... A bunch of cardboard. Very cool. All right. So let's take a look at some of these boards. See what is in each one of these. Gonna open them up here. All right. So in Bright Busters, you are basically some double agents or some some secret agents, some special forces going up against the Third Reich here. Oh man, these just fall right out. Very cool. Very cool. Some locations, some skills, the noise track, the alertness level, if you will. Okay. Another hallway. Some more tracks, some more tokens. Double sided. Some doorway, some doors, some loot tokens, markers for patrols. We got more loot, more doorways, the level of the doors there. Very cool. Oh, very cool room there. More rooms. Tokens again, double sided. I love the aesthetic of this game, looks really awesome. Continuing on through more punch boards, more rooms. That room looks pretty awesome. A lot of tokens, a lot, a lot, a lot of tokens. More rooms. That's a big door, big three door. More rooms, more hallways look like, actually. What I like about it is the, the rooms themselves, there's no hexes, there are no squares on these rooms or hallways, they're just open. 
So it's not necessarily about, oh, you got to be in this exact position. It's more about what room are you in, adjacency, and line of sight. A lot more different types of tokens. I'm not sure exactly what everything does yet. Cool looking rooms. I like that one, the bunker. Very cool. Big room there. It's like some sort of lab. rooms a lot of tokens and I love the art that's a big room right there that's a fall right out of that punch board oh that is cool yeah, it definitely wants to fall right off of that one Ooh, like a foundry very cool Big rooms. That is totally cool. Okay. Last board. All right. All right. So let's take a look at the cards. I do want to mention that this dice tray here is not part of the core set. It is just a part of my Kickstarter that I got recently. Um, first up, we're going to take a look at this card here. There are four of these, and these are the player A cards that come in the game. A uh, nice little handy card and uh, reference that I absolutely love when I have these, especially in bigger games like this. Makes it a little bit easier to actually get through the turns. Um, next up, we are going to be taking a look at each of the characters. First up, let's start with Brick. Kind of goes through a little bit of a backstory for him on this side and then when you flip the card over you have uh, a little bit more of a story but you also have his starting uh, items as well as his starting skill there are a plethora of cards that come with him so for brick we have first up double trouble like a brick wall those are his signature skills you're going to have a whole bunch of other cards for Brick. They give him lots of different things he can do. Quite a few. Gives you a lot of variation being able to have individual decks for characters. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Char or, excuse me, Claudine. Again, backstory on that side skills and starting items for her as well and then we have a bunch of cards for her too so we're going to start up again angel of death she's a lady as well as a lot of other cards the card quality is pretty good it is not not linen finish but it actually still feels really good in your hand. Very similar to the quality you got with uh, Joan of Arc. And I really, really, really dug that game. Next up, we've got Quentin. Got his backstory here. Starting items as well as the starting skill. Then we've got Swift as an Arrow. Reign of Death. And then a whole bunch of cards. I like that each of the, the cards have their character's picture here, so it's easy to, to make sure that you don't, don't mix up the decks and the cards and stuff. Easier to sort and, and navigate. Next up, we've got Red Hawk. Starting items as well as starting skill. We've got Covering Fire, Bird of Prey, more your sniper class character. All right, and then again, a lot of cards. For Red Hawk. Next up, we have Sarge. 
Again, backstory, starting skill, as well as the starting items. <clears throat> Bullet magnet. I got this. Signature cards. Whole bunch of skill cards. Looking good. Pretty awesome. Okay. All right. We have your noise deck, which is the ones at the back, the, the black back, snafu, close call, noisy, bunch of cuss words. I don't know why they just couldn't put something, foobar or something. I like this because, you know, when, you, when you're going to roll, you've got to draw one of these cards. And if the number of noise symbols matches this, you have to do this bottom ability. And these can be pretty brutal, pretty brutal in a game. When the level is, is to the alert level, you're going to be using this deck. And again, a lot of pretty much spawning new guys coming out. Okay, very cool. You've got the spawn cards when you're going to be drawing from the deck. You could be taking different groups. Now, I'm kind of going to go over these here in just a second. When you look at the mission cards, that'll kind of make a little bit more sense. But there are a lot. And really, the difference in these is the, the letters. If you can see here, like this says B, B, uh, B, C, G, C, 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 I, or excuse me, B, C, C. See, I can't even read. Just A, B, and C. There's an F. All right. So a lot of different ones. Spawn cards. And get your injury deck here. When you take when you take a hit, what's going to happen to you? So whether there's an effect based on the number of, of damage that you have, you may have to do the bottom ability. Slow response, injured arm, slow reaction, twisted ankle, blurry vision, staggered, strained ankle, intense pain. That's bad. Very bad. All right. Now, I told you we were going to get to one of the cards that kind of goes over what those letters correspond to. So let's take a look at one of the uh, mission cards. So let's start with the... Let's just look, kind of look at this one called Mission 5 here. It gives you a whole bunch of letters on the left side, and it corresponds to a character type that could be coming into the board. So, like, for example, let's say that we have a... Let's find one here. Let's just start with uh, somebody pretty cool. Uh, sorry, let's check out an officer. All right, so if this officer is on the on the board here, you're going to reference the officer. In this instance, A, it gives you their ranged. It gives you their melee, and it gives you their defense. So if you notice here, it corresponds to these same things here. It tells you the keywords, different things that can uh, affect it, as well as some of the abilities that this particular thing has. If you roll the special symbol, they have the potential to be able to drop loot. Now, loot does have an option to be able to get to noise, but which is not good if you're going to be looting a bunch of stuff. Some of these are double sided, and then some of them are single sided. So, there are a lot of different types of enemies another officer, soldiers, zombies. Dogs. Experiment 6XX. Experiment 601. Tracking bomber. Scientist. Lead scientist. Professor Markham. Kind of wish if he was a named character, maybe he had his own art. Storm Angriff. Storm Cannoneer. Different mission cards. Gonna give you which card to use. You got the uh, raid card, can give you different layouts of the maps. You got the uh, mission card for the get your team pools, and these ones are team. It gives you the extra abilities, and then your HQ card. Some 
quite a few bigger cards in this. I know they that uh, Mythic Games loves the big cards. They use that a lot in Joan of Arc as well. And then last up, what we have here is the different rune cards. What you're going to have is you're going to have, you know, a couple of ones. So let's say we look at, um, we look at these. Now these ones are packing crates. Now you notice that there's, you know, several different packing crates cards. And when you have packing crates cards, you know, so there's five, six of them here. You're going to shuffle these up and then you're going to randomly put one out on the board. So let's say we had this one. Well, this one here, it is a supply crate. And then you place three face up. Uh, supply tokens in this area so you know if you if you go into this area you may be able to find some different supplies you know but the next time you play and you're using you find this supply crate or packing crates uh you may find a secret passage or you may find uh a munitions cache or you may find lots of cover or you may find more cover or a dog cage so lots of different things to be able to find and there are a lot of different types of locations Give you a little bit of variation here. So different, a comm station, real schematics, some experiment information. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Secret passage, live performance, dog cage, real resupply, transformer. Lots of different things you can discover on your own. Now, here we go. Some of the cool stuff here. We're going to be going and taking these. Oh, yes. Look at this. I love, love this a lot. You got spaces for all of your things. This is your character sheet here. You know, your template. There's four of those. Game plays four players and... Oh, we gotta take a look at this bad man pajamba. Look at the size of that thing. I couldn't imagine. Couldn't imagine fighting that thing. The detail is great. That is so awesome looking. And I imagine like, ah, uh, it's just so good. So good. All right, we got some heroes. It's probably some named villains, the scientists and stuff. The guy on that on that chair reminds me of like a Professor Xavier. <laughs> so rad, so rad. I dig it. I can't wait to find out more. Okay, and last but not least, we got this box here. It's probably gonna hold all of the enemies you're gonna be fighting. Oh my goodness, that is a lot, a lot to do. There are two trays worth. Let's get up in there. There are so many. Let's get a good shot of those. Some creature looking things. That has to be the Vril. And last but not least, Looks like we got the more of the standard enemies. Let's get those bats. Can I see those too? Oh, that is so awesome. All right. A lot of content in this box. The art is absolutely beautiful. So it might be a bear to actually sort, but that was right, Busters. Unboxing. All right, everybody. If you like what you see here, I'm very excited to get this one to the table, give it a playthrough. Um, are you guys interested in seeing something where we do a learn to play, or would you rather see a like a just a mission? Um, love to love to get your comments on this one. Tell us what you think. Have you played Reich Busters? What do you like? Who's your favorite character? Um, you know, what do you like about the story and the combat? Please uh, hit that like and subscribe button when you'd be notified about all of our future Reich Buster content. Um, and, but until next time, we will catch you guys later.